Aquas! Welcome to your weekly love reading for August 15th to the 21st for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Those of you who have been with me for a long time know that I used to do a pre-shuffle session. No longer do those, but I will still go over the meditative session that I did, and then we're, gonna get, we're going to go ahead and get into the reading, okay? Hey newbies! Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for checking me out. And also thanks for the likes and comments, guys. I really appreciate it. Aquarius. They didn't show me too much for you when I was meditating on your energy, but it's so funny they like to show me animals now. Um, I saw a tiger. I never get to see a tiger when I meditate. And I feel like you're you're actually taking on this energy of tiger. I feel like you guys are just really going for your own happiness, really focusing on you and doing it with a lot of class. Doing it with a lot of class. And when, when I was seeing this tiger, I realized, especially for you, Aquas, Tigers are like the most, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, aesthetically eccentric, I guess, of all the big cats, if you think about it. Like, they really, really stand out. Not to mention, as far as population numbers are concerned, they have one of the lowest population numbers for big cats, okay? You are definitely a rare gem, Aqua, and you know that. You know that, which is why you're putting you first. You're putting your happiness first. And Aquas, it's, it's really working out in your favor. I feel like you're really happy and you're getting a lot of attention, especially in your romantic life. I think you are getting a lot more attention. Definitely for my more feminine energies, by the way. I know I have some male Aquas uh, watching. My more feminine dominant energies, they could be male or female, but I mean feminine dominant, okay? Um, if you are more masculine dominant, it's probably vice versa, or this is probably someone you're connected to, okay? aquas anyway coming back to you i also have this energy of like blossoming romance which is really sweet i really like that it's a very sweet energy some of you are already maybe like a month or so kind of down this road here with this new romantic interest others it's coming in others it's coming in okay however aqua i do feel conversation um transpiring for you in the recent uh, recent um future recent future, near future, <laughs> recent, that's not grammatically correct, near future, excuse me. It could have been recent past, but I feel like it's actually incoming. I don't think you've had this conversation yet. And like a conversation of trying to convince you of something, um, I just keep feeling that like trying to sway you, trying to sway you a certain direction, try trying to sway your state of mind, your opinion. Good luck with that. <laughs> trying to sway the opinion of an Aquarius. <laughs> um, but I do feel a little bit of like, aqua 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 like let's just talk let's just let, let's just talk about this let's just talk about this um aqua some people could feel like they're losing you because you're focusing so much on you especially if you're an aquarius who's really taking the time to really help a lot of people or just assist the people in your life just because you care you know because just because you, you care about them they're part of your tribe part of your family part of your social network but you really are putting you first and some people might not like that some people might be very put off by that um, and so in doing that, they might be trying to come to you to convince you otherwise, to maybe try to get you to go back to your old ways of doing things. And that's not going to work, Aqua. That's just not going to work for you. Okay, but let's go ahead and get into this reading. Anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have questions now, please check out that video because I'm sure it will make the reading a lot easier to understand. Okay, especially if you're new to tarot readings. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Hmm. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Why am I getting this energy of abandonment? What is this? I'm getting an energy of abandonment, Aqua. I don't feel like it's yours. I don't feel like it's yours. I feel like it's someone in your energy field. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or someone who's connected to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So again, Aqua, you've been putting you first. Some people are not happy about that. Some people want you to go back to the way you were. Um, these are people who feel abandoned. They feel abandoned, but I think that's just a reflection of their own stuff. Reflection of their own issues that they got to work through, okay? So keep that in mind um, because you're just putting you first and a little self-love never hurt anybody. A little self-love never hurt anybody, okay? Um, Aquas, for those in the new romantic situation or who have a soulmate coming in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, there could be exes of yours um, or someone who's had their eye on you um, or other dating options who feel like they're losing you. That might be where the swaying conversation comes in. 
Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Oh, I just heard territorial. Um, Aqua, these conversations that will be transpiring about trying to get you to go back to the way you were or trying to get you to not be so much about you or being in your self-loving vibration or again, if you're in a new romantic situation or you're attracting a new soulmate and there's someone trying to keep you from that, you're really not going to like it. I'm actually sensing a lot of aggravation and irritation. They're showing me the tiger again. <laughs> They're showing me the tiger again. Um... Oh, Aqua, you're not going to like it. You are so not going to like it. You're going to get very irritated very quickly. Oh, oh, who do you think you are? Oh, Aqua. Yeah, some of you are going to get really angry, actually. Um, People are going to be easily triggered around this time. Be mindful of that. And Aqua, you might be one of them. Keep in mind the full moon in Aquarius is on the 15th, 5.55 when I looked at the camera. Oh, indicative of a tower moment here. Any messages for Aquarius? Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, we have Seven of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. Ace of Wands, always like seeing that. Oh, Page of Wands in Reverse. Oh, yeah. Oh, Aqua. Emperor in Reverse, Aries Energy, Taurus Energy, Divine Masculine Energy. Yeah, someone does not want you to have any of that, Aqua. <laughs> that Emperor in Reverse and Page of Wands in Reverse, I'm getting gossip. I'm getting snippety, snipey communication. I'm getting a little bit of jealousy even, Aqua. And with that Ace of Wands and Seven of Cups in reverse, for those where you're coming into a new romantic situation, specifically coming into it, um, I definitely feel like they're noticing that you might be dropping options for one person or pulling away, just the energy of pulling away here. And this energy is not liking it, whatever this energy is, they're not liking it. But I feel like they're reacting very kind of um, like in a volatile way little bit of a volatile way. I really don't appreciate it here, okay? Um, someone who has a lot of passion for you, they know they want you, Aqua. And they know they don't want you to be with anyone else. They know they don't want you to be enjoying happiness without them. A little controlling, guys. This is kind of a controlling energy. And Aqua, I feel like you're going to serve it right back to them, honestly. I really feel like you're going to tell them to stick it where the sun don't shine. I really feel like you're going to be very much serving that energy right back to them. This energy, I think, was confused once before about you, Aqua. But once you start putting you first, doing your own thing, going out having fun, going out dating, going out with your friends, enjoying life, again, putting you first, they kind of start to freak out because I feel like they can sense you f pulling further and further away from them and they don't like it. They do not like it and they kind of have a freak out moment. Little, it feels a little tantrum-y. feels a little tantrum-y. All in the energy of trying to control the situation. Emperor Universe can be very controlling. All in the energy of controlling the situation here. Could be know the Aries or Taurus, not necessarily. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Yeah, you give it right back. I can feel it, Aqua. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Nine of Cups. Mm-hmm. Piscean energy, because you're happy. <laughs> You're happy. You have emotional fulfillment on your own. Nine of Cups is like a, a solo kind of emotional fulfillment. Even if you're with someone, you're fulfilled within yourself. Okay? It's actually one of my favorite cards in the deck. You're fulfilled within yourself. You're also getting your wish fulfillment. And you're doing it by putting you first. I love it, Aqua. Overall energy, we do have Page of Swords here. Okay? Yeah, this energy is definitely been keeping tabs on you, Aqua. Whoever this is, they've definitely been keeping tabs on you a little bit. I don't feel communication though. I don't feel talk. I don't feel like actual talking until this person tries to come in. Yeah, until this person tries to come in. I feel like you haven't been engaging with this energy very much. Yeah, because with this energy, I do you see how that card just blew? With this energy, Aqua, whoever this is to you, I feel like when this person was very much in your 3D world, like talking to you on the phone, seeing them face to face, spending actual time with them. I feel like it was really hard to put you first. It was really hard to love on yourself first because this person doesn't do that for themselves. Because this person doesn't do that for themselves. So it was kind of hard for you two to kind of coincide is actually what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yeah. But too bad you're happy. You're happy. And yes, they are watching you. But like I said, there definitely is a conversation here of trying to sway you. 
trying to sway you back to who you were, back to the old way of doing things, away from this energy. And Aqua, you're not sacrificing this. I can feel it. You're like, you're not taking this shit from me. No. You could be an Aqua Pacing Cusper, not necessarily. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this energy a little bit. Yeah, let's look at this Ace of Wands. I'm pretty sure what they want is just you, but let's go ahead and break that down a bit. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Ace of Wands. They, Aqua, they expected you to pull away and get happy they didn't expect you to do it so fast and so easily but i think that's actually pissing them off a little bit how could it be so easy yeah yeah that, that's kind of pissing them off tell me about ace of wands for aquarius i'm not loving this energy guys i gotta be honest with you <laughs> tell me about ace of wands for aquarius regarding love august 15th to the 21st Tell me about Ace of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Yeah, God, I really feel like some of them are triggered by like a new romantic situation. I don't know why I can't get off of that. That's like coming in so strong. Tell me about Ace of Wands. Whether it's like it just happened or it's like news. Oh, news. They might actually hear about this, Aqua. They might actually hear about this. They might see something on social media or what have you because some it's like it hasn't happened yet but i think the second it happens this person's gonna find out somehow and they're gonna freak out a little bit we all work through energy energy differently okay so keep that in mind tell me about ace of wands well, i just heard what does that mean it means we all deal with the same energy right essentially the planets are where they are we're all subject to where the planets are at the same time for all of us here on earth here on gaia um it just depends on how quickly we work through energy. And of course, there's a difference regarding charts um, in your own karma and of course, free will. That's where differences start to come in. Tell me about Ace of Wands. Wow. Oh, Aqua. My goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lovers, Gemini energy. Also my divine soul connection card. It's a very much divinely guided a connection here, a very spiritual connection, especially with that hair font right there. A uh, Taurian energy, a hell of a lot of spirituality and divinity around this connection that you have with this person, Aqua. However, like I said, the way they're reacting is very immature. It's very immature. Ugh. And again, it's out of a need to control. Spirit's not about that. Spirit is not about that. But they have clarity on this connection, though. That's why Seven of Cups is in reverse. They have connection. Connection. They have clarification on this connection and what they feel for you and the passion they have for you. And they know they want this. They know they want this. They know they want it. But they're freaking out, Aqua, because you pulled away and you've started chasing your own happiness away from them. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Page of Wands in reverse again. Double confirmation there. Yeah, they're not reacting well. They're really not reacting well to this, Aqua. I, I just feel more of that, like, tantrum-y, childlike, need-to-control reaction. Panicky, very panicky. Overall energy for the Ace of Wands, we have Page of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Devil underneath that. Oh, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> Capricorn energy. Uh, oh, you could be a Cap, Aqua, a Cap Aqua Cusper. Aqua, I do not like this as the overall energy for the Ace of Wands. I mean, I'm, I'm getting major emotional immaturity. This person's just straight up immature in a whole lot of different ways. And with the Devil, I'm getting codependency codependency they could suffer from addictions um or different codependency issues but i'm also getting emotional codependency very very strong that's why they're freaking out okay that's why they're throwing a tantrum that's why they're panicking that's why they're acting very childish because they have these codependency issues Ugh. and they just they just can't let shit go they they just can't like in their head they can't even see it any other way 
I, I just can't let you go. I just can't. But Aqua, like I said, I feel like you serve it right back to them. I feel like you serve it right back to them. So let's look at this page of wands and see what actual what action they're really going to take with you. I want to see if we can get more specific on this, okay? And what they're going to communicate. Um, let's use gilded. Let's use gilded. Play with page of wands in reverse. Play with page of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Play with page of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. I mean, you have a really amazing connection, you do, but wow, this person needs to grow, man. This person needs to grow and heal. Play out Page of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. I can hear some of you guys. They've had a lot of chances. I know what, but it's okay. I know. Play out Page of, so page of Swords. Play out Page of Wands in reverse. For Aquarius, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Why am I feeling the world energy? Like the world card, I'm feeling that kind of energy coming in on this. Tell me what page of wands in reverse. For Aquarius, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me what page of wands in reverse. For Aquarius, regarding love here we have queen of cups can't searing energy could also be pisces or scorpio death in reverse scorpionic energy wow king of cups in reverse more scorpionic energy could also be water or air <sighs> with the eight of swords gemini energy and the nine of cups in reverse okay let's look at all these cards right here okay guys wow so we have queen of cups death in reverse King of Cups in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Aqua, I feel like this is your energy as this Queen of Cups. Very grounded, very, oh God, very nurturing. Very, very nurture, nurturing. I'm getting very soft energy, very tender energy. It feels really good. It also feels very healing, very, very healing. It can be very intuitive or empathic. The Queen of Cups usually is. Death in reverse with King of Cups in reverse. I'm feeling like a little bit of a Lazarus energy here. Yeah, they're freaking out because they they just, they want, they want you. They just want you, Aqua. And the fact that it's the death card in reverse, that is like that Lazarus energy tells me that there was definitely a rift or separation of some kind. Some kind of ending might have taken a place. Or it could have just been a fight. Could have just been a straight up fight. Oh, hold on. <laughs> but they're coming across as a King of Cups in reverse. Someone who's not in control of their emotions Someone who can also be an emotional manipulator. Some of you are dealing with a manipulator. Not all of you are, but some of you are. They're not grounded, Aqua, but you very much are. I feel like they're almost masquerading as a king. Because we have so many pages here. I mean, look at this. We have three of the pages. Three of the pages. And two of them are in reverse here, okay? I feel like they're just masquerading as a king. They're not quite a king yet, okay? They don't have the emotional control yet for that. And then we have the Eight of Swords and Nine of Cups in reverse. They feel like they're losing their wish fulfillment. I'm also getting the sense of like being very trapped. Ugh. Very confined. Can't move. I can't move. I can't move yet. I don't know what that's about. I can't move yet. If you two were supposed to move, that might have been a source of a fight. Like if you're supposed to move in together, like there's something about I can't move yet. I can't take action yet. They're very much trapped in their own head. They could also be a drinker. Nine of Cups in reverse can be overindulgent. They could be overindulging in a lot of different vices. It doesn't have to just be booze, but you know, very common one. A very, very common one. And like I said, they do have some codependency issues. Some of these emperors slash kings <laughs> and even emperor, right? It's like if they're masquerading as a king, they can't quite be a full on emperor yet, right? Um... They do have codependency issues, so I would not be surprised if some of them are falling down the rabbit hole of their own vices, their own overindulgence, their own addictions here. But they do want to resurrect something with you, and they are freaking out in the way they're they're communicating it to you, but you know they're not grounded, Aqua. You already know that. You already know they're not grounded. Let's see what else we have here. Self-soothing. They're really bad at self-soothing. Play about page of wands in reverse. I actually hear some of you are going to be going to be recommending therapy to them. Talk about page of wands in reverse. Not in an insulting way. I just felt the cross watcher. Not in an insulting way. Calm down. Not in an insulting way. We all need a little therapy sometimes. I think everyone should try it at least once, honestly. Talk about page of wands in reverse. 
for Aquarius regarding love. Okay. Now we have, wow. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, could also be Aries or Leo with the Four of Swords in reverse Libra energy. And it's interesting, we were just saying therapy. Four of Swords upright can indicate therapy or rehabilitation. It could also just be recovery, taking a time out, but it can also be counseling and therapy. The fact that it's in reverse, like I said, you might tell this person, you just need a time out, you just need a little healing, you just need a little therapy rehab session. Um, but Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, they're coming in very quickly. Like I said, they're kind of panicked, Aqua. They're panicked. They're coming in very quickly here. Four of Swords and Reverso, they definitely need a time out. They need to recover. They need to do their own healing. They need to do their own healing. Overall energy for the Page of Wands in Reverse, we have the Two of Cups in Reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Soulmate energy. It's in Reverse. They are freaking out that they're losing you or the idea of losing you. They didn't. Th they thought they had more time. Aqua. They thought they had more time to get their shit together, essentially. Now let's look at this Nine of Cups. Let's look at this Nine of Cups. I feel like this is more about your self-love, your happiness, all the stuff that you're really enjoying for yourself that you went out and got for yourself, okay? Like I said, for some of you, this doesn't just have to be one person. It can also be um, a group of people that have relied on you too much. A lot of codependency here. A lot of codependency. Um, steampunk. Let's do steampunk. Talk about the Nine of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. Talk about the Nine of Cups for Aquarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Let a couple cards flip out here. Wow. Five of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy, Venus and Aquarius to be specific with justice, Libra energy. This is your justice, Libra. I mean, Libra. Oh my God, that's so crazy. I just called you Libra. You could have a Libra placement. Uh, anyway. That was a really crazy slip. Aqua, this is your justice. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Everyone deserves to be happy. And if this person couldn't do it for you, it just is what it is, right? Five of Swords in reverse, though. I feel like you've already forgiven this person. I feel major acceptance coming from you. It feels very healthy. It feels very healthy, Aqua. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you've already forgiven them. Doesn't mean you're taking them back doesn't mean you're going to jump into a relationship or anything but you've forgiven them tell me about nine of cups for aquarius tell me about nine of cups for aquarius regarding love august 15th to the 21st tell me about nine of cups for aquarius so, oh yeah well yes i agree so sorry what are y'all talking to me um what one of you were literally just talking to me you had to forgive them in order to to reach your happiness. I get that. I totally get that. Uh, sometimes, you know, we do have to forgive people, even if they're not really in our life, in order for us to heal so that we can move on, right? We only had one other card come out. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. You forgave them, and that led you to your happiness. Your happiness, filling yourself up with self-love for some, even a new relationship or a possible new soulmate coming in. I feel that really strong for some of you. Not all of you, but some of you. Then we have this five of pentacles here. Again, that feeling of abandonment. They know that you do deserve happiness. Again, they just thought they had more time, but they feel very abandoned and left out in the cold by you. Why do I feel like that's backwards though? Aqua, some of you might've did the leaving. Some of you might've done the leaving. But I feel a lot of y'all might have been left by this person, but they feel abandoned. Either way, it makes sense because they are codependent, okay? When people are codependent, and this feels like a very extreme level of codependency that some of you were dealing with with this person, um, even if they leave, just the idea that you are off without them happy, even if they left you, could make them feel abandoned. Okay, overall energy, we do have the devil in reverse. Oh, yeah, Capricorn energy. You found you're happy and you released yourself from this energy, okay? You released yourself from, from. I, I don't want to paint this person to be a bad person because I think they just have some stuff they got to work through. But you released yourself from this. You had to forgive this person. You forgave this person and you got your justice and you're getting your happy. 
this conversation is going to be a little tough, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels a little bit uh, combative because I think there's a lot of aggravation coming in on, on your end, Aqua, the way they're coming at you because they're coming at you very childish, very mature, very panicky, okay? And I know you're not liking it. I know you're not liking it. But like I said, you're in a happy place now, all right? So let's go ahead and pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for my aquas regarding the spread? 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 And aquas, like I said, I'm not discounting this connection. This is an amazing connection. Very divinely guided connection. Very, very spiritual. Very intense. But Aqua, you know this person has to grow. This is a codependent person. This is someone who has stuff they got to work through. And you know that. You know that. You kind of know they got to they gotta do their thing to get through that, right? All right. So we have, oh, very interesting. We have Grasshopper Spirit. Take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a 3. And Lizard Spirit. Dream the world into being. 38 breaking down to an 11. Aquas, for those of you who haven't gone out to find your happy yet, Go and find your happy. Go and find your self-love. Take that risk. Grasshopper is very much a fool card kind of energy. Uh, lizard spirits a manifestation energy. Oh, come back. Manifestation energy. And, you know, it's interesting because in tarot, magician is mercurial, uh, Virgo, Gemini. But I always consider it to be very Aquarian and Scorpionic because Aquas, you guys are incredible manifestors. You really are. You're incredible manifestors because you're the aliens of the Zodiac or the rebels of the Zodiac. You guys are always thinking outside the box. You can see how to do things in a way that other people can't see how to do them. Take that leap of faith to go find your happy for those who haven't done that yet. Okay? Start manifesting your happiness. Any other advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Especially if you're getting prompted by a new soulmate that you know is of your vibration and you know can bring you happiness, who's a little bit more mature and stable than this person. I think, just my opinion, you don't have to, just my opinion, I think it's something to go for, okay? While this person takes the time to grow out of their codependency and deal with some of the stuff they have to deal with, because this is an amazing connection and soulmates sometimes are just there to teach you lessons. The soulmate that you're experiencing or may be experiencing just might be there to teach you a lesson or two while this person gets ready. I'm not saying to use people. I'm not saying that. Some of y'all just accuse me of that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you got to take life as it comes. You can't put your life on hold for other people, you know? So let this person grow and do what they got to do because this is an amazing connection. The connection, the energetic connection is not going to go away. Any advice for my aquas? Regarding this spread. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Oh, yeah. I feel like this is advice for the emperor here. For my emperor slash king slash pages. <laughs> Wasn't trying to throw shade your way. I'm just the messenger. We have brown bear spirit. Take time out with the energy of nine. This is a very hermity energy for me. For me personally, it's a very hermity energy it's literally taking a pause to just be introspective taking things slow trying to look at things in the right way trying to figure out what needs to be done what can be approved up improved upon it's okay to take a pause a time out away from the aquarius to do what you got to do for you okay aqua is already trying to manifest their happiness because they know that you have stuff to do okay and there's nothing wrong with that you know, it feels very similar to the Leo reading, which I guess would make sense because Leo is the seventh house for Aquarius. So that would make sense. So for anybody who's resonating with this, you might want to watch the Leo reading. Very, very similar themes going on. <clears throat> Overall, we have, oh, focus. 
We have turkey spirit. Give with grace and gratitude. 61 breaking down to a seven. Seven is a is an energy of being on the path, being divinely guided in the way that you're supposed to go here. And with grace and gratitude, this is having class and tact about it. To go about things in a mature way, making mature decisions. My emperors, I know it's hard. I know it sucks. It's time to make a mature decision when it comes to the Aquarius and maybe let them be happy while you work on your own stuff and you take time out for you to work on your own stuff, okay? Also, this is an energy for you, Aquarius, as well. You're handling this very well from what I can tell, okay? When this person comes at you maturely, I know it's going to be very hard to kind of maintain and not get triggered to kind of serve it right back to them and some of you definitely are some of you definitely are but this is just a reminder to be a little bit more tactful even if this person can't be mature with you you can always try to be mature with them okay all right aqua i hope you guys enjoyed that and i hope you found it insightful and helpful don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later namaste aquas